I don't want it to rot. This is the vacuum warehouse. We're going to address an issue that we get. Um, I don't like to say more often than not, but here's the case. Uh, we get a call, my Milo vacuum just died. And quite frankly, if your Milo vacuum is less than 17, 18, 20 years old, and you just killed the motor, uh, there's a good chance you didn't do something right. Um, and you know what, I'll tell you what, uh, this, is, this is the telltale sign of how we can tell. Nine out of 10 times, this is the scenario. Well, if you haven't picked up water with it, or if you have used the vacuum, well, you know, with the bag in place properly, so the dirt hasn't been sucked into the motor, then this is the first thing you're going to do. And this is the sign of it. You plug in the vacuum, it's working just fine. Uh, you know, you go from one room to the other and suddenly it's not turning on anymore. All right, so what happened? And you know, it kind of felt like it, it was a little hot too, by the way. So uh, this is the most common problem we get. And if that's the case, and then you wait another 15, 20 minutes, a half an hour, you plug it back in and it works again, there's a clog. The motors in the Mila vacuums are designed with a safety sensor where if the motor gets too hot, it'll shut off automatically and it won't turn back on again until it's cooled down. Now, why would the motor get too hot? Well, if something's stuck somewhere along the airflow, whether it's in the, the metal wand or in the hose and the motor can't breathe, it gets hot, okay? Um, now, before freaking out and bringing, you know, trying to get the machine into a, to some kind of service center, uh, this is the, the first thing you have to do. And you know what, like nine out of 10 times, this does the job just fine. First thing you want to do is obviously you unplug, you disassemble everything, the power head, the wand and the hose. You want to check through the neck of the power to see if there's something stuck there. Let's say that's clear. You check through the hose. And if you see yourself at the end of the hose, you're good. The, the wand, you're good. Now, a lot of times things get stuck, however, in the hose, okay? and well you don't even know where it's stuck and or possibly it's somewhere around the neck here all you have to do is remember one thing with any vacuum cleaner there is an airflow right the air gets sucked in through and it goes through the hose and it goes through the vacuum and through the bag and it shoots out here this is where the exhaust is and this is applicable to any Mila model okay so if there's something stuck in the hose and the airflow goes this way, all you need to do is reverse the airflow. And you do that by removing the hose from the canister, turning the machine on and inserting this end of the hose into the canister itself. That means the airflow is now going to be reversed and chances are whatever is stuck is pretty close to the neck here or around here. And at least it comes out enough for you to be able to see it and then pull it out. This does it for the most part. In cases it doesn't and you need to take it in for service, well, that's a different story, okay? But all you have to do is remove the hose from the canister, turn the machine on, I a suction, and just do that, okay? Play around with it, see if you get suction through. Reversing the airflow works most of the time. Again, nine out of 10 times it works. So you don't have to freak out. You don't have to you know, look for a service center. Try this before you do anything else. Um, but if you did end up having a, you know, an issue where this wasn't being taken care of, then you need to take it in for a service center for them to use a compressor or something to be able to remove a clog. Um, a clog, by the way, is not something that's under warranty. There is no way this is a manufacturer defect if I pick up a sock or a you know cap or marbles you know how many times we pull out toys and little marbles kids marbles that they play around with that's not a warranty issue this is a service issue okay in any case we're happy to help one eight seven seven two two zero five six five six. thank you